Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Sean style sandwich. So uh, the ingredients you will need for this sandwich are uh, uh, piggery smoked turkey breast. It can be any brand, it doesn't matter. I just like to use uh, Lando Frost. Um, you can use any kind of cheese that you want, but I'm using Colby Jack. Use any brand of lettuce. I don't know why that matters. You'll need that. I usually use this uh, honey wheat bread, but today I'm using this new bread called uh, potato bread. Never heard of it. I'm going try to be trying it today. Uh, Miracle Whip. You guys can use normal mayonnaise. I'm just going to use that for whatever. And then uh, mustard. <coughs> and then for... Oh, you can also put some of these uh, sliced hot jalapeno peppers on there too. If you want. And then I'm just going to have a couple of these on the side because I think those are delicious. So I'm going to um, set you guys up right here. And I'm going to give you guys the step-by-step -step of sandwich. I'm going to put some butter on here. So I want to get a little butter knife. You guys can use any kind of butter too. Don't know why any of this matters, but... Whatever. So we're just gonna put some of the butter on here. You guys don't have to do this. I just like doing this because it adds a bit more of a, a salty taste to it, which I think is very good on my sandwich. And I want to give you guys a, uh, a special guest reaction at the end of this video. So and you guys will see what he rates my sandwich. Okay, that should be enough butter. Put that over there. Um, we'll put on the meat first. Because I don't want the meat and the mustard to all make contact just right now. You can grab, a, I'd say about three or four slices. Just like this. those bad boys on and what you can do is like kind of spread them apart so they get more of the mass of the sandwich ow that hurt seal that up then what we can do next i like putting the mustard on the top so what we can do shake up our miracle whip this isn't going to come out like that so i'll just uh Put a bit of this. As you guys can tell, this isn't coming out of the bottle at all. Ooh. Um, that's a lot more than I expected. And then I'm not being sanitary. So what you guys can do is just take your uh, knife with the butter and then just use that to spread. Or don't spread it at all. Just have big clumps of mayonnaise all over your breast. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that like that. This is like a big gobbler sandwich. It's a weird sentence. So, there's that. And then I put that. That probably explains why the actual like butter knife is in there because it's covered in mayonnaise from the what sandwich I made last night. Then what we can do is, uh, might as well just do this right now. But we're gonna get our cheese. Uh, you can get a shopper, shopper knife. Get a sharper knife. Remember, you you can try this. At, is it even recording? Okay, it's recording. I was kind of scared for a sec. Um, you guys can try this at home. Just be careful with knives. You guys can cut yourselves. You guys can lose a toe. Don't know why you would be cutting with your feet, but whatever. So you're just gonna. Cut off some cheese. It doesn't have to be a perfect slice. It can just be like all scattered around like that. So you just like like that, and you just spread it everywhere. It has <coughs> excuse me. It has the uh, same effect that just cutting a slice of it would. So you do that, and then chop it up so it's not as thick. 
And then that should be enough cheese. I don't want it to taste like a cheese explosion. Back. Take that. And then we'll get some of our uh, lettuce. What I recommend you guys do, this is really big in there. I want to get the good stuff like that. And then... Mm. You know, if I'm being completely honest, I can just eat lettuce all day if I wanted to. Which I don't. But put on that lettuce. So it gets a nice little crisp. And then, also if you guys want, get some of that like white stuff. Which is like very crunchy. I'll give you guys a uh, proof. Very crunchy, so. Add some of that. It has a nice little crunch. And it also just tastes good. And it's good for you too. As long as you don't need a whole bag of it. Or a whole head, whatever. What I will do now, though, is add these jalapenos. I'm only going to add, like, four of them because they say that they're hot. I'm going to use the knife to get them out because I don't feel like getting this stuff in my eyes. So, that's, uh... This is the first time I've ever put in, like, these kind of jalapenos on my sandwich or that I've just eaten in general. I've never eaten these before. So, this, you guys will get my reaction, too. There's those. Don't whatever. Um, and then we can finally get our mustard. <coughs> Excuse me. So a mustard that I actually think would taste really good with this is like the spicy brown mustard they get on like charcuterie boards, like the very like fancy, somehow overpriced mustard. You guys can get that. Excuse me. Let's get a little. Oh, that's sharded out. That is like explosive, my guy. Okay, so there's that. We toasted the bread, as I told you guys. And then you can, uh... Ooh, that actually looks super good. We're gonna move this to the side. And if you guys want, you can cut it in half. You guys can cut it in half if you guys want. And now we're gonna add some uh, golden Greek pepper cheese. Love these. I can just grab it with my bare hand. I'll have like three of these. Because I can just. I can. What the? What was that? Whatever. As I was saying. That. Got a kick to it. Cheese. But, um, it's more like cheese. That was corny. Um, so just grab a couple of these. This is a big boy. And then, uh, obviously pick up your mess and stuff, put all your ingredients with. We want to keep our ingredients nice. So we, uh, don't rot. I'm going to get my dad's reaction. That's the special guest. It's my dad. I'm going to give you guys his reaction to the sandwich. Like anytime I make one of these, he always wants one. So he gets first bite. The father is right here. Let's get his reaction. Take a look and it explains to you. I want you to rate it from from, from one to ten.
Get a paper genie too. Ten? You being nice. serious? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll give you guys my reaction now. No flash. I did, but I did put jalapenos on it too. But um, that's pretty much it. If you guys like that um video, and you guys like the food content, then comment down below, do whatever you know. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm trying to change the videos a bit, be a bit less cringy. So um, yeah. Jack, what else do you have to say? Oh, You're an old man, aren't you, buddy? <sighs> Toodaloo. <laughs>